Welcome to our short video presentation on the sign convention used in our total machinery lectures. Now if we draw here a cascade view of a stator and rotor, we've got a stator which obviously is stationary and a rotor with ro which rotates. Uh, and we then look at our different symbols that we have for different directions. We have x for the axial direction, theta for the tangential direction and r for the radial direction. And also one the important thing to note that we'll come back to later is that our sign convention is always positive in the direction of rotation. So we can then apply our axes to this uh, uh, stator rotor cascade view here. We have the axial direction which normally points down the page. We normally have positive axial uh, in the direction of the bulk, fro bulk flow through the machine. And since the bulk flow is from uh, top to bottom, our positive x is going to be top to bottom in this direction as well. We then have the tangential coordinate theta over here. And this theta uh, again is positive in the direction of rotation. The rot rotor is rotating from right to left on this diagram. Uh, and so theta is obviously going to point from right to left as well. And so that's our uh, cascade view. If we then move to our meridional plane, the cross-sectional view of the, uh, the turbine, uh, we can see here now we have the Rx plane we're looking at. So we have x, the axial direction. The bulk flow is moving from the left to the right here. Uh, so you have the positive x going in that direction. You have a radial coordinate where you have uh, increasing in radius. Uh, and you can see here I've drawn the three different radii that we use in this particular course. Uh, we have r little h uh, for the hub radius. R little m, which is the mean, mean radius, uh, and R little t, which is the tip radius. And of course, the uh, the mean radius is quite actually just the average of R of R h and R t. So you get R m from R h plus R t divided by t. Uh, and there's no rotation in this particular view. The rotation is in and out of the page, so the being positive in the direction of rotation doesn't mean a lot. If we go back to the cascade view and now start thinking about angles uh, and relative and absolute velocities, we have the symbols we use in the course here. We have a v for absolute velocity u for the frame velocity and that's the velocity of any metal that we have in the system and we have w which is our relative velocity that's our any velocity observed whilst we're sitting on the metal that's whizzing around and then we have alpha for absolute flow angle and beta for relative flow angle so we look at those angles uh, on a uh, diagram of the cascade here we have a stator and a rotor uh, position one at the stator interface two at the uh, rotor stator interface and three at the rotor exit we obviously have a bit of movement uh, in our rotor and we have theta and x up here for our uh, uh, coordinate system. If we then look at the flow leaving the stator uh, and we sketch a flow that's roughly aligned with the stator blades, what we have there is the absolute flow, so that's going to be v little 2, uh, and this makes an angle alpha 2 with the axial direction. In this particular case, since alpha 2 is in the positive direction, alpha 2 is also positive, so alpha 2 is uh, rotating in the direction of rotation, so uh, it's positive. By contrast, if we look at the relative velocity w3 here, so here we draw the velocity uh, that's lined up with the rotor, uh, and so because the rotor is moving, what we see here is the w3, the relative velocity, and we draw an angle with that. This beta 3 is negative because this uh, turning uh, is in the opposite direction to the direction of rotation. So here we have alpha 2 being positive and beta 3 being negative. And if we just sum up our sign convention there, uh, we have all the symbols displayed on this slide uh, along with uh, that diagram we just saw. So I hope you found this video useful uh, and uh, Good luck with the course.